What's going on guys? Welcome back to Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman, AKA Crypto Hitman. And today I have with me the founder of Dead Press, Nick Papa Giorgio. How you doing? Hey Nick, how you doing? Doing well, doing well. So I mean, let's cut right to the chase. Dead Press, uh, I've seen it all over my Twitter feed lately. The online casino sports book and all that is already live and producing revenue. The NFT collection is already live. I personally own a bunch. My followers are gonna see some of those displayed on my wall here next to the Pokemon cards. But the next major thing is really the USA token launch, which is set for November 30th. Do you kind of want to just tell us a little bit about Dead Prez as a whole, and then we can dive in deeper to each individual component? Yeah, for sure. So uh, first off, thanks for having me on. Um, Dead Prez is something that I've been working on for a little over a year now. Um, we started in basically when the bear market was was uh, was, was just getting here, and uh, my background is in NFTs with an early board ape holder. Um, and that collection really opened my eyes to NFTs in the digital collectible space. And I saw what what NFTs as a whole could do and bring people together and create this new community. And I had always wanted to create something on my own. But I think the problem that I faced was always looking to develop a crypto project is sustainability. And that's why I kind of created this whole package. We have the token, USA, Dead Presidents, George Washington NFTs. It's all about gambling and and, uh, and having a casino. And it's just, the whole brand just fits so well together. And I think this this thing can be extremely sustainable as we've all seen Rollbit and, and their major rise to success over the past six months. And we're just trying to, to follow a similar path and, and kind of take some market share from all the other, some of the other, other big players. Yeah, I mean, I see that at Gamble5 I've been talking about is, is kind of a hot sector. You've seen massive success out of Rollbit, currently worth 550 million market cap, all time high of 800 million market cap. And you're seeing a lot of these other smaller projects at three, five, 10, $15 million market caps. And some of their online casinos either aren't launched yet or aren't really even functional. So I think that's what's set instead Prez apart. Instead of you guys, you know, forcing a token and launching a token and hoping that the value accrual of the token can then stimulate the launch of a casino or the NFT collection, you guys are going about it the right way and doing it the opposite. You guys yeah. did a product first, did the casino first. Hey guys, look, it's working. You can gamble on there, you can win, you can withdraw, you can lose. And we got users and, and X amount of revenue. And now with that, we're gonna we're gonna kind of create a brand awareness by launching the NFT collection, which has launched great floor price, has royalties built in for NFT holders and token holders. And then lastly, you can be like, hey guys, here's our token. We're gonna launch it. It has all the utilities because every other product is already launched. That's why it kind of interests right. me. Yeah, and and to just piggyback on, on what you said there uh, about building first, and I think what really is a, a a big differentiator for us compared to the competition and what Rollbit has done or what Base has done or what any any of these other casinos have done is we didn't build a casino first, and the idea wasn't to build a casino first. The idea was to build a brand first, in the NFT collection first, in the token first, and then the the casino was kind of like an afterthought of building this brand. So I think that's kind of where we have those the, the ingredients needed to kind of grow a brand and grow a community. And then like to me, in, in my opinion, is like the cherry on top is like, oh, by the way, we also have a casino that we all uh, we, we are licensing our IP to and, and we're going to get to share the rewards and the growth of the casino. Yeah, so you mentioned there quickly. So the NFT isn't just a PFP and the token ju- isn't just a standard utility token. You kind of hinted at it there that uh, token holders and NFT holders are going to kind of get royalties from the casino success along a, a, as well as the NFT success. Can, so can you explain that a little bit and why yeah. people should be hodlers of your token and NFT rather than traders? For sure. So so the NFT, what we're doing is we are following a similar path that uh, the Pudgy Penguins are taking, in, which is we are, we are going to license the intellectual property of the NFTs to the casino to allow the casino to use it for branding and marketing purposes. And in return for doing that, we the casino will 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 share some of the some of the rewards uh, with with the community, and that it's about sixty percent. And what's going to happen every month is that whatever we have for profits that month, those profits will be converted and swapped to USA, and then the, the, that USA will then get distributed uh, to people that are that are staking. 
Um, and what's really cool about our staking and USA token and how like they kind of complement each other so well is A, you can use USA as a depositable form of currency in the casino. B, we have a couple other surprises as we get closer to launch, we'll be able to share those utilities about the token. C, you're going to need it as a requirement to stake your NFT. So if you have an NFT, that's not that's only the first part of it. So the other part of it is you're going to need to pair your NFT with 2,500 USA tokens when the staking pool starts. And to kind of incentivize people to stay in there and to and to reward those early supporters, is that numbers the 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 USA token requirement is going to slowly and gradually increase throughout time. So the longer the the more time that goes by, the higher the the level of USA to get in. So it's, you're going to have to buy more USA to pair with your NFT. But anyone who's in the pool is going to be grandfathered in. We really just want to, re, you know, focus on rewarding people who believe in, in the project and reward those early supporters. Yeah, and that's a great way to go about it. Even with my private group, we kind of did the same thing. We had a baseline entry and then we kind of locked those people in. Those are they have OG status within the discord mm -hmm. and everybody else. Hey, guys, due to the success of the project in this case, the cost mm -hmm. uh, to play is rising and the early supporters are locked right. in. So, you know, right. that incentivizes people not to want to unstake either because they know if they ever want to come back and, and undoubtedly they will come back. <laughs> yes, uh, it's yes. going to cost them twice as much to get back in that pool. So uh, right. exciting times. And you did mention 60% guys, 60% of profits will go back to token holders and NFT stakers. Not only do you get 6% of profits, but the casino and the project dead price here is going to use those funds and those profits to market by USA tokens and then redeploy. So that's right. a great upside utility uh, for people who like to see, you know, token buybacks, token burns, token yeah. liquidity provision. Um, it seems like this project really has thought about all of that and is going to be deploying not just one, but all of those factors across the board. Yeah, and that's what's really cool is it, and, and why this project kind of took so long to, to put together um, because we've just thought about every possible scenario and, and problem that we may run into and we tried to make this thing optimized for growth. And, and I, I truly think that between our tokenomics, the way that NFTs complement the casino, the way that the token complements the NFT, I think that we've, we've, we've done a great job of, of putting the right ingredients into this thing to be optimized for, for growth, success, and fun, to be honest, because I mean, we're all gambling here, um, whether we want to recognize it or not. So this is just kind of taking that whole theme of gambling and just really taking it to the next level. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited for the project. And again, guys, the token will be launched on November 30th. You guys are choosing to be on the Ethereum network to kind of take advantage of that's where the liquidity is at here. Still in this market cycle and will be uh, listing on Uniswap as well, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah, yep. Yeah, we'll be listed on, on Uni on November 30th. 10 days, 10 days from yeah. now, man. The 10 day countdown. Yeah, and this, this uh, video will be posted. Uh, obviously, you guys are going to see this on all the other socials, but this is part of the 12 days of Dead Prez kind of marketing campaign and kind of final push before the token generation event. And just trying to educate people and get people hyped for the uh, possibilities that Dead Prez and the USA token and the NFT collection has moving forward. I mean, is there any other major discussions or topics you want to you touch base on for uh, all these yeah. products? I mean, so, uh, yeah, so we have a lot of stuff happening uh, towards this last uh, two months in the in the year. And then we have a we have quite a quite a few goals and features to come to add to the platform uh, Q1 in 2024. And I will just say that, you know, we're going to have an updated sports book, updated UI. We begin building the 1000 X trading platform similar to what Rollbit has or DGEN's bet. Um, and I think that's a huge value add, especially to the to the crypto community and the crypto audience, because that's, you know, that's as someone who's been in crypto since 2018, that's what I really enjoy doing. Like my form of my preferred method of gambling now is like just on, you know, speculation on, on price of action on tokens. And I think by us adding that feature and really managing it properly, managing risk, uh, it just adds another another fun thing for even retail users. They don't really, you know, to go and create a Binance account is is not that easy to do, and sometimes you're restricted. So any user can just come into the casino and just it's it's simple. There's no like uh, limit order, stop losses. Just do you think the price is going to go up? Yes or no. It's just a binary uh, option. Just yes or no, and then you select your you know whatever your level of degeneracy is, whether that be one x <laughs> or a thousand x. Mine's a thousand, <laughs> but. Uh, so we just have a lot of a lot of really fun stuff uh, planned in the future. I mean, we're really just getting started.
Yeah, because I've been on the casino and, and used it, and you guys do have the sports book already. You got the casino table games where you can play with the live blackjack dealers, poker, roulette, whatever it is. And then you got all the, you know, video video slots and poker and everything else. So it's exciting that you guys are still looking to approve upon that. You're not really settling on the casino as is, trying to add new features, trying to onboard more users, because that really is what's most important, guys. The more users on the platform, the more potential pro profits for the platform, the more token buybacks that occur, and the more token deployments that occur for NFT holders and uh, token stakers. So that's what it's all about. Right, and, our, and just to touch on our affiliate program, we have a couple of really good uh affiliate programs that we're going to have so basically you can you know earn commission based on if you if you you know share your affiliate link or people use your link and it's a it's a very robust system and, and we've we've been doing some beta tests and over the last couple of months and, and the the affiliates are, are very happy and they say that they're much more generous rewards than they've received at any other casino and there you go. I mean, we got the holidays coming up. We all know uh, yeah. your Uncle Bob likes to do sports betting. We're going <laughs> to see him losing all of his bets on uh, the NFL games on Thanksgiving. So why not have him do it on Dead yeah. Prez Casino? So Uncle Bob, when he's over there cussing, losing, that money's funneling back into your USA token holdings. That's what I like to see. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, you stand something to gain from Uncle Bob losing and being <laughs> such a bad sports gambler. Right. Well, plus the family members have been calling you crazy anyways all these years in cryptocurrency. So you yep. might as well get them to sign up for the sports book, be like, hey, you know how to use this. And when they lose, you win. Yep. And then when they win, yep. they're going to be in a good mood and you just probably get a better Christmas present anyways. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, well, that, I mean, that's pretty much awesome. I mean, I just wanted to kind of go over and touch base on some of this. Obviously, all the links to all this stuff will be in the description below. Uh, I'm sure Dead Prez is going gonna, is gonna to be sharing this video out as well. Uh, the NFT collection, 1,776 NFTs going to be uh, set up to receive a portion of royalties and uh, revenue share uh, from the casino. That's awesome. The token, I mean, you guys are launching this token at like a 200 or 300,000 market cap going to be yes. you know hot onto the gamblefy scene there's no vcs there's no centralized exchanges that hold tokens yep. there's no market makers that hold tokens the team doesn't have tokens there's gonna be no kols that have tokens at launch uh, really it's just all the people who believed in you and all the early investors that oversubscribe your investment rounds that have tokens and they're only receiving right. between five to ten percent at tge so very limited token supply to start the liquidity is going to be nice and large. I know you guys are talking about, you know, over six figures of liquidity on the Ethereum yep. network. And I think that's a, a lot of things to be excited about. And we have uh, the other thing is uh, we have elections coming up in 2024. And what better ticker than to promote other than USA? I mean, there has been, it's blown my mind that there, to my knowledge, there has not been another token called USA. And if, if there was, uh, they didn't have a good business plan behind it. But this one does. It highlights, you know, American culture. And it's it's very ironic because our our uh, you know our product is not even available for for Americans. So that's the irony of this whole thing. Uh, obviously, we have to restrict we have to geofence uh, certain restrictions or certain restricted areas, but Americans can still buy the NFTs, and we can all buy USA together. And if you're a true patriot, you will buy USA. There you go. Hey, I love that. Snip clip that guy. <laughs> Snip clip that. I, I think what you know, like you, you kind of got to it. Why I why I'm bullish on USA is you have so many things. You have a revenue producing product. Okay, if you want to bet on that, I got revenue coming right. in buying back the token. Gamblefy has right. been a hot sector. If you think we can follow in the footsteps of Rollbit and some of these other ones, awesome. Then you have the NFT collection, you know, and, and it's so memeable with George Washington, scarce right. NFT collection that produces uh, royalties. So now you get, now you can target the meme people. And then, like you said, you right. do have the US elections coming up in 2024, uh, quantitative easing, US dollars, the talk of the town because it is the global reserve currency. Uh, so that kind of puts the USA ticker at the top of my list as well. I just think yeah. you guys have so many opportunities, no matter which yeah. direction the crypto kind of hype or momentum goes, you guys have so many outlets to try to tap into that and try to uh, provide right. value, value back to USA token holders and uh, USA uh, dead press NFTs as well. Yeah, and that's what we're going to do. I mean, we're just going to be constantly taking feedback from the community in, on, in terms of the casino or the project. and. You know, we wanted to make this a project where people could have, uh, you know, serious input. So if anyone in the community or anyone watching, you know, has used the platform or has some suggestions, we're always open to listen. We're always open to have discussions about certain things that people want to uh, see changed or features added or upgraded. Uh, we just had some some community members. I guess there's a, a crypto fight happening in Dubai in, in I think next month or maybe it's March. 
uh, but we're probably going to be able to add some lines so people can wager on that. So things like that, we, we just want to constantly be improving, constantly be, uh, you know, you know, making every aspect of this whole project uh, better and better as time goes on and, and just try to make one of the most you know sustainable projects out there. That's awesome. Good to hear. I guess that's really all the topics. We just wanted this to kind of be short, sweet, casual. Uh, a lot of my community already knows about DeadPrez, already invested in DeadPrez, already owns NFTs, uh, but we're always working to expand the word. And you guys know I like to kind of talk about these soon to launch or these micro cap projects because there is so much upside potential and utility potential for everybody who sees these early videos. Uh, so good to reflect on these bull market after bull market talking about the new hot tokens and projects that are coming to the scene. Mm, yeah, now, thank you. Thank you for having me, Nick. This was fun. Make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Check out all the information in the description below. And guys, stay tuned for your daily updates right here at Learn Crypto.